some say this winter bock is one of their other beers in disguise. So let's find out. It's beer o'clock and from the Iringa Brow in Bavaria we have a bottle of their winter bock coming in at 6.7 percent abv now then as we know about Iinga, they've been going over 130 years believe it or not okay and it's again another um private brewery in bavaria that's passed down from generation to generation um it's um owned by the 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 insel kammer family believe it or not and um yeah um <laughs> It's, they produce some very, very good beers to do, 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 do I anger. Um, if you're ever in Munich, um, where you've got the Hofbrau House, which it, to me is very, very touristy, Hofbrau. Um, I don't like it in Hofbrau House, to be honest. But across the square, right opposite, you've got the Eyinger Brow. So if you're ever in Munich and at the Hofbrau House, Go, go, go in. I'm not saying don't go in the Hofbrau house. Go in there for one, just to experience and just have a beer in the, in the Hofbrau house. And then leave, walk across the square, go in Iinger and uh, have a few of their beers. Because um, you'll get a far better atmosphere in the Iinger brow than you will in the Hofbrau, believe it or not. You know, there's not as many tourists. There's more sort of um, regular German people there, which you can have a you can have a laugh and a joke with. Um, absolutely fantastic. So, without further ado, let's crack this open. Let's get it into my beer and Oktoberfest museum glass from Munich. From Munich. Now, I would actually say that there is a rumour going round about this beer, about this winter box. I don't know how true it is, but it's quite uncanny, and I'm going to show you why. Right, so first things first, look at that beautiful beer. It is a dark brown colour, it's a little bit of ruby in there if you look through it, the light, a little bit of ruby. Um, it's got a beautiful two and a half finger tan type foam head let's get the aromas oh there's some fruity spice there like winter fruits dark fruits some winter spice there um smells of freshly baked bread Oh, freshly baked bread, dark fruits, a little bit of winter spice. Oh, it smells beautiful. Let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Now we're talking. I've got to take another sip. <laughs> Sorry. First thing you get out of this, it's this beautiful dry finish. And it is a beautiful dry finish, just long lasting as well. It's, let's take another sip. It's roasty, it's toasty. You're getting these dark fruits coming in, this winter spice. It could even be a, 
a little bit of sort of caraway there to be honest this is a sort of beer that you'd in winter time you'd love to braise your, your roasted pork knuckles in or make a, a, a rich beer sauce out of to have on your roasted pork knuckles oh, this is awesome but some people actually reckon this winter bock is a beer that Iyengar actually brew all year round and they just rename it winter time they put it in these bigger bottles and rename it winter time as a winter bock and the beer which we're talking about I'll just go and get the bottle because I have one up here because I do like the bottle right some purists reckon that this beer this beer here the Iyengar winter bock is their Doppelbock, which is their, their celebration or celebrator. Okay. Um, it's, it's a, they call it a Dunkel Stark beer, but it's, it, it, people call this a, a Doppelbock as well. The uncanny thing about it, right, is look at the ABV 6.7%. ABV. Now I've reviewed this beer and it looks like this and believe you me um, it tastes very similar it tastes very similar from what I can recollect so we've now got um, your cele Iyengar Celebrator 6.7% Iyengar Winterbot 6.7% both poor, very, very similar. Both taste, very, very similar. Maybe I might have to see if I can get hold of a bottle of each and do one of my famous comparisons. But I can see where some people, these purists are, are, are coming from by saying that these are one of the same um, I can't, I can't, I, I can't 100% tell you because I haven't tried them side by side. You know, look, you know, you just go on the internet and look, there's loads of people uh, a claim that this is an alias of Celebrator. And there's a lot of people saying they've never had them side by side to compare. So maybe there's something I need to do. I need to get a bottle of Celebrator and a bottle of this Winterbock and put them side to side. Because there is an uncanny resemblance to these two beers. This is, it's just, this is just so drinkable. This is just so drinkable. It's unbelievable. It's so smooth. It's so drinkable. I could quite easily sit there. Do you know what? If I had 10 bottles of this, I could quite easily sit here now and drink all 10 bottles. It's so smooth, it's so drinkable. It doesn't feel like it's 6.7%. You know, it feels like, feels like you're drinking a 4.5% beer. It is just absolutely fantastic. Look at the lacing on that glass. You know, If you're going to sum this beer up, it's a rich doppelbock with this fresh bread, dark fruits, roasted malts. It's just lovely. You know, believe you me, I'm going to be honest here, it's taken me a while 
to get into drinking like doppel box um, and dunkles you know because believe you me five years ago I didn't like this style I'm gonna be honest with you I did not like this style five years ago I kept trying it and trying it and wanting to like it and just couldn't I just couldn't do it and then I suppose the trigger for this was really going to Bamberg in twenty in twenty nineteen, and the same as me, me the smoked beer. I couldn't stand smoked beer, and yet going to Bamberg, I suddenly warmed, I suddenly got into the smoked beer, and having a smoked doppelbock, and I just smoked doppelbock from excellent curler and i think it just it just touched a nerve in the back of my head that it was like this crazy buzz moment like mark mark fucking hell you're 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 like missing out on these great beers get your ass down the shop and start getting on these doppel box start start reviewing them start start getting into them getting into that style and i ain't look back you know, oh, <laughs> next time I'm in Germany, I'm probably going to walk into a beer hall and rather than do, uh, what I'd usually order with a pills, a hells, a can of beer, a wheat beer, I might start looking at going, oh, I'll tell you what, oh, I've got a, I have a double bock, I have a dunkel. How your taste buds change, how your brain works, eh? This, this, look. If it's a winter buck and it's brewed differently, fair play. If it's a clone of your celebrator, so be it. At the end of the day, this is a great beer. This is a beer to try before you die. Um, I will try and source another bottle of this alongside a bottle of celebrator. And we're gonna put them head to head. This is a video for the, for the future definitely but as from now get yourself a bottle of winterbock try it see what you think you know um you can get this believe it or not i've I actually checked where you can get this from this is available on the house of trembling madness as we speak um you can order it get it to your house um so look it's cold it's winter it's horrible go and get yourself a bottle of this the house of trembling madness Try it, see what you think. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, right? Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches. Fireworks and always drink responsibly. Wow.